What is a fringe benefit and what isn't? That has been a tax question for businesses and for their employees who must use their cars or their laptops on company business. How about cell phones? The rules for those devices glued to our ears are different. Longtime Western CPE tax expert Vern Hoven says the IRS has come up with a rare common sense approach. As we mentioned in prior years, both the use and the expenditures associated with automobiles and laptops must be substantiated before a business is allowed to deduct or reimburse the cost of these items as a tax-free fringe benefit. But as of January 1, 2010, cell phones are no longer listed property. While this does not mean that there are no substantiation requirements to deduct cell phone expenditures, it does mean that the strict listed property contemporaneous log rules no longer apply to cell phones. A common sense usage percentage can now be estimated. It is believed to be the first common sense provision found in the IRS regulation. When is the personal use portion of the value of an employer provided cell phone a tax-free fringe benefit to the employee. Really? When an employer provides an employee with a cell phone primarily for non-compensatory business reasons. Now, many believe that threshold is about the 40th level of angry birds. But if certain rules are followed, the IRS will treat the employee's cell phone as a working condition fringe benefit, the value of which will be excludable from the employee's income, even for personal use. The IRS gave three examples of a non-compensatory business reason when an employer provides an employee with a cell phone. They being, one, the employer needs to contact the employee at all hours in case of work-related emergencies. Two, the employee must be available to talk to customers at all times when she or he is away from the office. And three, the employee needs to talk to clients in different time zones outside of the employee's normal work hours. We can do this. Employees may receive cell phone allowances or even be reimbursed by submitting an expense report to her or his employer. IRS has made this very easy. One potential problem. Because of the rule that the first landline at the personal residence is non-deductible, even when used for business, some IRS agents think the first cell phone should also be non-deductible. In my opinion, there's no support in the code for this position. But I probably won't put up much of a fight for a $70 per month expense that is 50% deductible. He's tough. He's specific, and he's right. Vern Hoven's 16 and 8-hour federal tax update webcasts and seminars have the answers for every tax preparer. And here's where you can sign up. Western CPE's website, westerncpe.com. Click on Federal Tax Update for live seminars. Click on Webcasts for Vern's annual video tax update and much, much more.